the Dave Show. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Another night, another podcast. Glad you're joining. You're here in the background is some ambiance music in the background. Some choir going on in the background with mis- with instruments. Let me say clearly for you guys. With instruments. Drummer, pianist, they call it a pianist, and the bass guitarist, and backup singers. Yes, backup singers. And you ask me, backup singers? Yes, backup singers. Um, and most importantly, the person in the rock group is the singer, the front singer of the band. We'll get, we'll give, a, we'll give that person a name. We'll, we'll just give out the name. Uh, I'm going to come to you guys in a minute about that one. But hear me out. Hear me out. I'm going to say today. Today was a bad day. Good day. Videos today really, really, really say what people really mean out there. We have the Black Lives Matters. Uh, r- rallies that are going out out there, they're trying to do it the best they can to rally around everybody about Black Lives Matter, what we're going to do with this, where we're going to take it to a whole different level. And um, now it's for all lives. All lives do matter. It's not just Black Lives Matter, but people want to keep it to that. Um, so I have no problem with that, folks. I really don't. And... Um, so, if you believe in God, now, uh, now hear, hear me out on this. There's people who don't believe in God, they're atheists. Now, the word I use is atheists. These are people that don't believe in God, don't believe in the higher power, don't believe there's a Jesus or God. And this is these people. They're atheists. They're the total opposite of what Christians are like. Um, so, they don't think it's a God, there's a, a holy one out there. And uh, the Christian people think there's a God out there. There's the Christian thinking. And I want to put a, a perspective for you guys. Christian people, I met some few of them out there. And my golly, they are great people. They are great people out there. Oh, by the way, I did find some uh, new YouTubers recently. And I appreciate what they're doing out there. I really do. Um, they're not really hustling out there. They're doing what they need to do to keep this YouTube thing afloat. And some people have quit from YouTube. Others have stayed on. And they're going to go... They're going to stay on until YouTube is no longer YouTube anymore. Um, so, many, many try quitting YouTube. Many people on YouTube have quit going on YouTube. Well, really not going on YouTube, but just having a, a YouTube channel and to really put content out there. And I truly mean content out there. That's why YouTube is dri- uh, video-driven service. It's really essentially a service you're putting out there. And uh, I want to thank, thank you YouTubers out there to really keep the engine going, to really keep content out there, especially the people I mentioned about in the past. Um, and uh, those people, in my, in my estimation, they need to be righteous. They need to be righteous in the world. And what I mean is, you guys need to be great as everything you could be. I see in your faces, I see there's potential, and I really mean that for you people out there in the world. There's potential, right? When I see greatness out of people, I think there's potential there. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, children, a little kid, sister, daughter, mother or dad, I see potential there. And it just through my eyes, I see that. It's coming through from the videos. And um, if, it doesn't matter if you uh, come close to the camera or be far away from the camera. I can see potential there. And it uh, doesn't matter if you're a daughter, son, mother, dad, a uh, little kid. Uh, you're all going to be... It, I, I wish you'd try and weigh in. Everything I see on YouTube, and I try to do that the most, the ultimate, uh, how do you say in perspective? These are YouTubers that I preach in. It's not always the, uh, the filming everything out there, but it's the urban people. It's the urban exploring people that really, really get the videos out there. I want people to do this. Go out there and do urban exploring. Take a camera, go urban exploring. Explore your world. Explore your world. Your world's your oyster. Go and do what you need to do. 
and everything will work out. Uh, what you hear in the background is the church music in the background, and um, I really appreciate people a lot. A lot. People don't realize when I'm out there. I do see a lot of people out there, and they're just hurting out there. They really are hurting out there due to everything that's happening in the world. And there's a there's got to be a balance there. And you get the Black Lives Matter to Antifa, to uh, all sorts of crowds out there. And um, these people are really hurting. I mean, this is no joke. We're living in end times, as people would say on YouTube videos. We're living in end times. And I, I think we really are. I think we truly are. It takes, takes me to really take notice of this. And we're living in end times. Uh, I hate to say this for all you uh, kids out there. We're living in California. The wildfires, that is a, that's a disaster. God didn't make that happen. If you're wondering if God did that, God never did that. God never did those wildfires. It's what, the, uh, is what we make of it in the world that we really come across. And I want to put in a shining light to everybody. Um, is this second coming of Jesus? If you ask me, I think there is. And there really is. Um, I got a very strong heart. I, I really appreciate people. And I've been on this world for 40 plus years. And I've come across a lot of my friends in my life. People I've uh, journeyed in my career. And um, yeah, I had a good career. And I'm just being who I am 40 plus years. And I want to tell you guys, I had the, I had the bestest friend in my world. But it all come crashing down because... His passing was really, basically a little sad. And it was at age of 45. And it was pretty much sad. Everybody knew he was not only my friend, he was other, he had many friends out there in the world. He had two girlfriends. I think I mentioned that in the past. And uh, most importantly, I want to get you guys to do what you do best out there. Really, really smell out there. I always see people smiling out there. It really appreciates that. And I see in their faces that they're smiling out there for good reasons. And uh, it's just happy times. We're living in happy times. And the more we smile, the more we get, we, we think about our good times that we had. And we really appreciate that. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a, a young daughter, young daughter. Uh, son, you know, they're laughing about many reasons why they laugh. And uh, it's good, it's really good, it's contagious. Yeah, very contagious. Uh, but I've got to say that everybody laughs for many reasons. Being happy, uh, for a lot of reasons, and I appreciate that. I, like I said, I've been in this world for 40 plus years to know what humans go through in a day. And, um, we all go through uh, tough times, the good times, bad times, not so good times, the highs and lows, bummed out, uh, you know, the kind of thing. We're all we're all in this world together. We're just human. As I would say to my friends out there, we're not robots. Robots don't have feelings. Humans have feelings. And when their feelings get hurt, they get really mad. We don't want to get them mad. Uh, we do, we try not to in our best of times. Um, I, my theory is we just leave them alone. If they're going to be mad, just leave them alone. Because it's like, it's like after a while they'll get over it and move on to another thing. And so I would appreciate those people out there. And I see a lot of, a lot of people around this world. And I really, all the shapes and sizes. Um, and uh, they bring me hope. They bring me hope to me. And I really appreciate that. Singers out there like uh, Ricky Martin, this recently, Ricky Martin. Um, and he's, uh, he sings his music in Spanish. Uh, so, yeah, Ricky Martin, who is a singer himself in his own right, he's an appreciated guy. He's a very accomplished guy out there as a singer. And I always see these people, and I've been in this world for since the early 70s. And I've seen a lot of singers come and go in my lifetime. To the uh, to uh, to Madonna's of the world, to Glass Tiger, Gowan, to Metallica, Guns Roses, you name every 80s band out there. 
as seen all. There's going to be some more coming up in the near distant future. Uh, just recently, I want to tell you folks out there, in my humblest opinion, uh, by the way, Metallica is coming back again. Uh, they got some fresh new material. I kid you not. Fresh new material. Uh, I want to get uh, James Hetfield is making some new, some new uh, music out there. I want to give a shout out to him. Yep, uh, James Hetfield, who's the front singer of Metallica, and most importantly, most importantly, I would appreciate you guys. So let the drummer drum. Here we go. He's gonna do a uh, a kind of a jazz drumming. Listen to this. All right, so that's a rim shot. They call it in the drumming, rim shots. So there you go, folks. I was gonna leave you with that, but until then, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, those people in uh, California, I pray for them. I really do. And we all say amen to that, right? We all say amen to that. Um, most importantly, uh, these are the people who evacuated a city almost. That's hard for anybody. They're crying. They're really, really crying about this. But as long as those people are still alive, we can always build up. And, uh, yeah, they're hurting all right. They're hurting all right. So there you go, folks. I will leave it at that until then. Uh, I'm just in a happy mode. Uh, not ranting. Um, go check out my YouTube channel if you're wondering about that. Go check out my YouTube channel. I know people are asking me about that, but I will not say it here. Uh, you guys have to find out where my YouTube channel. I've boasted out some people out there. Um, and uh, these are people I come to appreciate. And there's a few of them out there on YouTube. And just be happy. Just be happy what you do. And uh, singers out there, I always, I always, I always say awe to them because I'm really in awe when I see them. So there you go, folks. I'm just, I just do what I do best. I'll give you the the last words to say, guys. God has given me a gift. I'm blessed. And uh, we're just listening to a song in the background. Let's listen to a song in the background, shall we? Let's listen. There, that's just a little taste of the song. Anyway, I just want to say, you guys, you know the deal. I'm your host, David. Well, yeah, anyway, you guys should know that, right? Anyway, anyway, I want to say appreciate to you guys. This is the best podcast in the world. I'm so happy. I know you guys, I can tell by your faces out there in the world. But anyway, uh, a lot of people like to smile, and I appreciate that. Um, and uh, it's always gives me a great feeling that you guys are smiling out there. It's always a, it brings me uh, happy times. And uh, so there you go, folks. I'll leave it at that. Until then, this is my end of my rant, or what do you call it, podcast? So anyway, um, I'm happy again. Jesse, if you're out there, you did a good job today. Very good job. Uh, you, and you found that money bag that I've uh, been... That was really good. That was really good. Uh, so anyway. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to uh, stop rambling off. And I'll let the music um, say it needs to say. Let's listen to it, shall we? There's a drummer in the background, by the way. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys do what you do best. I'm going to stop this recording now, and there you go, folks. Ciao for now.